Welcome to the briefing video for the NKTG 2032 first assessment task. And that task is your participation and engagement grade. Now, there are two things to understand about the way we run the briefings. There is the Word document that sits up on the website, and there is this combination of PowerPoint file and video. These are your background briefing notes. These are your product guidelines, target specifications, and general intel from me to say, this is what I would expect you to do in order to score the points for the assessment. Two key things. One is that this is all about the co-creation. Here is your asset. Read it, make use of it, be guided by it. The whole reason I put this thing together in the first place was to have a neutral level of easiness and easy mode added to the course of, if you follow my guidelines, sure, you're still gonna have to do the work, but you'll know where the work and the effort should be focused. And if you're following my guidelines, I know where to look for the effort and look where the effort's been focused. It makes it easier for me to mark and easier for you to score points. So please do make use of the Word document. It is a supplement to this video and these PowerPoints. The second thing is that on the Wattle site, you will find that there are links. There's a link to this PowerPoint. There's a link to this document. There's a link to the YouTube video or the Echo 360 video. There is a link to a forum thread. And if you are unfamiliar with how the links work, they're the little colored bits of text there. <sighs> For some reason in the modern era, underlining's gone away from hyperlinks, but please click things, follow things through, have that curiosity of spirit and willingness of mouse to go, huh, I wonder what's behind this. The forum thread is also going to be a very useful asset for you because if there's anything I haven't covered in the PowerPoint, the document, and this video that you would like me to explain, please make use of that thread to provide me with feedback. Or in essence, provide me with feed forward. Tell me what you want to hear and I will make some responses to it and I will bring your feedback into play as soon as I can, rather than waiting to the end of semester in a CELTS thing going, Oh, you didn't really explain assessment one that well. Let's avoid both of us having a bad day there and let's have a good day by opening that forum thread and letting me know if there's things you need to know. So there are two things to appreciate here and lots of duality today. The learning outcomes for the subject are in their entirety here, all four assessment tasks. The aim of this e-marketing subject is to create an environment in which through being part of the class, engaging in the participation and engagement, writing the technology engagement analysis, acting on your self-service internship, reviewing it in the performance review, and reflecting on the whole thing in the e-portfolio gives you the whole box and dice of becoming a better e-marketer going from where you are now through to where you can get to in 14 weeks time, or rather in 14 weeks of semester, 12 plus two for the semester break. This task, the participation and engagement, it is worth 20%. It is loosely individualist because you can't actually solo it. You need there to be a dynamic. It is participation and engagement, merely rolling up to the forums and reading them, lurker mode, that's the minimalish end of engagement. Coming to the seminars and sitting in the back of the Zoom room and contributing nothing, doing nothing, not chiming in the chat and not having your camera on, your audio on, and not participating in the breakout rooms, you may as well spare the time because you're not gonna get the points. Partly because the way the seminars are designed is the seminars are designed as a dynamic where if you are hanging out with a bunch of friends and you're talking shop about e-marketing stuff, then it's going right. If you don't like people and you don't want to interact with people in a real-time format, we've got the Shadowhawker sessions, we've got a dedicated self-service, do it your way without engaging other people, 
that pathway, completely respected, still can score engagement points and participation points. You just gotta do it from either the tutorials or the forum or the Padlet. There's also a whole bunch of ways to score your 20 points. And immediately the panic mode button that you just hit of, oh my God, look at all the things I have to do, is the wrong response. Relax, breathe. It's actually much better than you think. The idea is that there are 20 points to be scored by you being an active participant in this course and by being an active participant in this course, making the course a better place for everyone else who's actively participating and some of the lurkers. So there are multiple pathways in which you can find your strength, do what you like to do, do what you do best and score points. Amongst the many ways in which you could do things is there are the Zoom seminars on the Monday. There's the tutorial on the Tuesday. Throughout the week, there will be activity on the forums. Start your own threads, reply to other people's threads, engage with the questions I've asked based on the content we do in the seminars, self-service or the Monday seminars. There's the weekly Padlet, and there are links to the Padlet and the Padlet gets explained in week one. The Padlet is a reflective tool. It's a tool to go and discuss observations, things you're not sure about, what you would like to know more, and just how the week went for you as an e-marketer. Its task is to provide you a third place. You've got a live real-time interaction out of Zoom and Tutorial. You've got the text-based forum. You've got the Padlet for a different style. So make use of it because also the Padlet posts as part of your participation engagement, train you towards the reflective writing exercise that you'll be using for the ePortfolio. There'll also be a couple of self-evaluations. There'll be a halfway point, a week six, we're gonna run a little survey, self-service survey for you to go, am I getting what I want out of this course? Is it going the way I want it to? And we'll ask you again at week 12, did you get what you were looking for? We're big, to say we're big on uh, co-creation theory, to put too fine a point on, this course is predicated on co-creation theory. You have the resources, and I'm looking for you to make use of them. Together, it should be fun. There's a couple other things. Uh, there are some things called the downloadable content challenges, the DLC challenges. I'll explain those in a second. But the final place in this is that when I talk about participation and engagement, it's not unilateral, it's not just to me. It is how do you engage with the course to make the course a better place? And there's a couple of rounds of Nominator Mate where you can recognize the people who are in those Zoom chats or who are running that off-campus uh, Telegram channel or the WhatsApp channel for the course, the people who are putting the yards in to make it a community and a better place. You got a way you can nominate them, you got a way you can recognize them, and equally, you got a bit of a suggestion list for things you can do to get engaged, to be nominated and recognized by your mates. All right, how to submit your participation and engagement. Yes, there is an assessment. Look, for the fun of it, I've just put an assessment thing in there. Also because for Gradebook to work, I have to have an assessment that is due. So there is actually a submission button for participation and engagement because technology is glorious. There's no good reason for it to be there. It's just a really, really technical thing. Um, so basically what you gotta do, put the out in, be part of the subject. As a student of the ANU, you are expected to commit 10 hours a week to each of your subjects. I reckon six and a half to eight, you'll be fine on mine. We have a live event. If you can make it, make it. Be active in it, do stuff in it. We've got a forum, get involved, get engaged. We've got five other channels that I can think of off the top of my head. We've got tutorials, we've got all this stuff. Just be in there. Um, but also, be aware of the fact that the way the course is set up is there's a huge amount of cross-wiring, so if you're having a good time over in the seminars, chances are you're doing things that you can talk about in the forums, and the forums can then feed you back to coming to the seminars or the tutorials and say, hey, there's this idea. Can we, can we talk about it? Lastly, it all plugs back to the ePortfolio because it's experiential learning, and the ePortfolio reflects on the experience. So the why, Look, I understand that if you've come to this course and seen 20% for participation, you've gone, oh no. The reason we do this is that this is a training camp 
And when you go off to be a social media manager, there is a lot of engagement. There is a lot of using Twitter on a daily basis. It's not a fire and forget. It's not post a tweet, come back in a week and a half's time. It is post, engage, react, reply. Saying Facebook, any of the other platforms, create the content, put the content out to the audience, engage with the audience as they interact, or if they don't interact, try and get that interaction to happen. So it's all about the training. It's all about also giving you a, a space in which you can rehearse and find your technique. Some of us are very good at going first. Some of us are very bad at going second and probably should have done more training on that. And others are absolutely brilliant as the third and fourth. The people who in a debate team gravitate towards third speaker because they're so good at the summation and the wrapping up. Whereas there are roles in here that will find opportunities. If you find your strengths, you'll find opportunities. If you find your weaknesses, you'll find opportunities. And if you find your mediocrity, it's also there for the taking. You don't have to be good at everything, but there is the opportunity to try to find out what you enjoy, what turns out to be useful, and what you want to keep doing afterwards. So the direct other thing about this, the direct point scoring, I mentioned this before, here it is in bullet point form. Your best places to score points are Obviously in a live learning event, it's going to be a lot easier to score than if if you're at the live learning event, it's easier to score the live learning event points, opportunities, than if you're not at the event. Absentees cannot score points in the things that they don't contest. Equally, though, merely being there is not enough. You've got to be part. Forum, same deal. You need to post to the forum and interact with the forum. And it's not two posts of 500 words every 13 days. That was no fun. That's that's not interesting. It's about being in the forums and being a useful part of the community we're trying to build in the subject. Similarly, Padlet, weekly wrap-up. It is there for you to use it as a training tool on reflective writing and reflective learning. And also to be able to respond to some of the prompts I've put up there, some of which will focus around things like, you've just completed the assignment, what would you like as feedback? I'd like to hear from you, I'd like to know that. Uh, and then there's the downloadable challenges. But the other thing that's really important here is that the self-service internship, the semester length project you're going to do, it will feed into all these things, the forum, the live learning events and the Padlet, because you are now going to be a point of your own data set and you're going to have an example, a working case study that you are currently working on that you can always use as an example. So when I can ask, a, I'm in a forum and I ask a question, how does pricing apply to your project? Well, you're doing a project, you've got something you can talk about. Also, the self-service internship is a chance to practice. Now, if you've picked a technique, you said, look, I wanna be a TikTok star and you're finding suddenly going, oh, I've got to create lots of videos. I'm not, I'm not really familiar with this. Well, here's your chance to go train behind the scenes. Train up in the waddle, train up in the forums, train up in the course, get out and use your newfound, well-honed skills in the real project. All right, downloadable content challenges. At this point in time, there are four known challenges. Uh, these have emerged over the last two years. The Team Identity Challenge. At the opening of each week's episode, episodic live learning events, the seminars, there are three slides. And the slides are the team logo, team identity image for the daytime class, the nighttime class, and the self-service class. This will be explained in more detail in week one. And the idea here is that this is just a chance for you to embrace this logo identity. So if you're doing the daytime class, we call them the day walkers. The evening class is called the night stalkers. The self-service class is called the shadow hawkers. They've got names. Embrace those team names and create your identity images to support the idea that, hey, I'm part of this team. Around week four, we open up a second challenge. It's called the Get Hype Challenge. This is about creating a message, a persuasive message to get your peers and your classmates hyped up and excited about the next week's worth of content. Then we have the Nominator Mate. 
I'm going to assume that people are backing each other up and there's a whole bunch of activity that happens in this course away from my eyes. That there are conversations that take place over coffee, there are Facebook groups, there are uh, Twitter chats. There's, I don't know, I don't care to know, I don't need to know. But what I do want to know is who's putting the yards in that you respect, that you want to go out and say, hey, Stephen, you should know about this member of the squad, they're doing excellent stuff. And I want to recognise their awesomeness with a nomination. And the final thing we look for around late in the season is, this is the Hype the Neighbour Challenge. We are one course amongst four courses. So you have three other subjects you're doing. And I would like you to go and take your favourite of those three and hype them up. Make a little, either a thank you for the lecturer who's running that course, or a promo, or a post that go and talk about the other subjects and the other awesomeness that is happening around you. So you can say to your peers, hey, I'm doing, you know, I did this other subject and I thought it was great. You should go and you should experience it. If you like this sort of thing, if you love econometrics, you're going to love this. If you had a really great time in project management, this is the course for you. Hive the neighbours. Promote the other subjects that you're currently studying so people know what to get up to in their next couple of semesters. So one of the key things that, about this project, about the 20 marks that are on there, the blocks here, is it's about you finding a style. It's not about me assigning a style to you. It's not about me saying, you, post. You, reply. Oh, you're boring. What it is about is you trying things, testing things out, experimenting, taking some certainties, and finding out what it is you like to do in the space that is the forum or the seminar, the tutorial, the Padlet, or any other ways. So if you want to know more and you want to ask directly, there's my contact details and if I get a good question over email, I will publicly respond to the question in one of the public forums. So I'm not going to hide intel. So if you think that if you just email me, it's like, oh, I'll be the only one who will know the answer. Oh, look, that's a really interesting question. I'm going to go publicly re respond to it after I've responded to you first, then I'll go share that information publicly. So might as well post it up in the forums and make it a public uh, show to kick it off and you get more points. FYI, you do not get participation and engagement points for direct contact to me. I'm not the subject. And with that, we wrap the first of the assessment item task videos. It is semester length, it's 20 marks, and it's a heap of fun. So I want you to embrace it as the opportunity to get in there and have a really good time with a bunch of new fan mates. So see you in the participation and engagement events.